We're really excited for this opportunity because it allows us to support more districts and really building a robust induction program. So what that looks like is professional development. It also looks like really intentional instructional mentoring in which beginning teachers are paired with instructional mentors who are veterans to the teaching field who help them think collaboratively and think collectively about their practice. And so with this infusion, we're able to now support more districts than we ever have as a center. Um, as planned, we were really looking forward to being able to support seven districts. And though we're located in the Valley, we support across the whole state. Um, this infusion now allows us to support 23 districts. COVID-19 really pulled the rug out from underneath educators in general. I can only imagine how that challenged those first year teachers. What have been some of the gains that you saw they were able to make as they adapted to the new normal? I have been in conversations with first year teachers as is my job so often. And the thing that I find the most, um, I think heartwarming and fortifying is the fact that these first year teachers have found a resilience that even probably myself in my first year wouldn't have found. Um, they have learned to adapt and be flexible and still do their jobs and maintain relationships and try new things all throughout this whole year. And so I think that just makes them a stronger candidate for this profession as they continue. You mentioned rural Arizona. Um, those can be communities that are challenged just because infrastructure, transportation, and the list can go on. New dollars, how do you see them affecting classrooms immediately? So really for our work, we are able now to make those um, travel arrangements ourselves to get out to the rural communities. Again, I stated, we do support the whole state and so we are out and about. Um, so being able to bring this work to them to provide them with the resources that they might need to access training, um, to access coaching opportunities is really what we're hoping to do with the impact with the funding that we've received. What have you seen is the benefit to the students when those first year teachers get this extra layer of support? The first year teachers efficacy goes up. They feel as if they are that true professional in the classroom. There aren't many opportunities or jobs that you go into or careers in which your very first year is as if you've been teaching for 20 to 30 years. And so really that ability to have collaborative conversations, to really think through the intentions that I planned for and the outcomes for students, helps that beginning teacher to see themselves as that, as that curious, inquisitive, and persistent facilitator of learning. And I think having that guide on the side to really help you talk through your practice allows first year teachers to see that within themselves. Because really the goal is with instructional mentoring is to support beginning teachers to gain those habits of mind of reflection and questioning and planning so that when that mentor is maybe no longer there, they're still able to carry that out throughout their career. There's been a lot said about what this year has done to the ability of students to learn and the challenges that it has presented. We always talk about the summer slide. I don't know what the term will be for what COVID-19 has done, but how will children be received in the classroom in the fall when things are hopefully back to the normal that we once knew? I truly believe that children will be received with the same love and care and intention that they would have been received had they just come back from a summer vacation. Um, really just understanding that in this space that may seem as inopportune, there's a lot of opportunity. And so as students come back to the classrooms, I encourage educators to continue to bring that same care, that same intentionality, and really just work with the students that you have. Delivering that much needed boost of confidence. Okay, Danielle Brown, the Professional Learning Director for the Arizona K-12 Center, thank you. Thank you so much.